guys, I know I'm going to be starting painting here. I wanted to do a test shot and see how I was going to do before I did the camera angle for you. These benches are old. My uncle gave them to me a long time ago, probably 10 years ago. And they were old when he gave them to me. And uh, we pressure washed them. They're pressure treated. And um, we pressure washed them. And they, they're in pretty good shape yet. So we're going to put a coat of paint on them. And then um, I also want to put legs on them. I want to put um, on the bottoms here, I want to put plastic. We have sheets of plastic that's three quarters of an inch thick. And we're going to put that on there. And uh, that'll uh, make them last longer. Probably another ten years. Start, the legs were starting to rot just a little bit. Coming, little Stephen might be coming. Here's Dad. And that's the Dad's machine coming the quad. Okay, uh, go ahead and do right around here. What was it this time? Never anything Somewhere against this back wall. Let me get it. Yeah. 
I would tell. Uh, what are you up to, huh? What are you up to? You're going to be friendly with me today, huh? Thank you. Yep. I figured, well, I got it part now. It's time to make a while. I got the seat out so I can get it in. Yep. See you later. Be Thank good. You. See ya. Yep. Okay, that looks great. Now we're going to flip it over and do the top. We already, uh, that was already one coated on the top. So I'm going to shut this off for a second until I get it repositioned. Be right back. Okay, well we pretty much got them repositioned here so we can paint the top. I'll do the sides, you can do the top.
top of that one's real good. I think this one we're just going to do the top. I'm only going to do the bottom with one coat, I think. It's just the tops. And I'll put that one over here. Well, no, I can't move it because it's all painted. So it would be better off for us to move you. Let's move you up here. And I'll put the next one in place. Okay, we're going to put this one right here. Which I don't know which way is easier for you. You've got to come up with that idea. Okay. We'll get the second one going here. I'm going home now. Thank God. See you, Robert. You're to see Wayne. Yep.
start that bad habit up again, that's for sure. Yeah. Thank you, Brandon. You're welcome. And I'll see you guys when we get, uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get clubs today or not now, but we'll see what happens with them and how things go, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Okay, next project, we're going to go get some mulch. So I bought, actually some mushroom soil first. So I brought, borrowed my brother's F-350. We have a dump trailer. It's really nice. He just got it last year. Uh, 
really nice for hauling. We're probably going to get at least six scoops, which will almost fill that all the way. But we'll get him in the in first. Hard to see with the sun here. Uh, there's some rain clouds in the sky, so I better take his wheelchair and put it in the garage. All right, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let's shut this off. See you when we're getting heat dirt. So we're down Lehman Nursery picking up six um, scoops of red mulch because they didn't have any mushroom soil today. So. Guy's name is Scott, same as mine. He's gonna load us out. His wife is usually running the machine, but he's back in today. Hey, your wife gives me more out of school. Kidding, right? <laughs> Good local people down at Lehman Nursery. own this place, their mother and father, and now the daughter's taking it over, Myrtle, and her husband, Scott. John Deere. we were down at uh, Lehman Nursery and we got uh, six scoops of mulch. It's a pretty good trailer load. It's a six by ten trailer and it's full. Brandon said we have to eat before we um, spread this. So he wants to eat and then we're going to be bloated 
and then we won't be able to spread it. That's why he says that, because he knows I won't want to do it after I get done eating. But I'll start on this tomorrow and uh, get it unloaded, uh, hopefully before I get Brandon here. He has, there's other stuff we got to do, so it's kind of hard. He can't really help me with the mulch because you got to get up in the trailer and I throw it out that way. It's so much easier. We're going to throw it right in that bed behind us. That, uh, that long bed there, that takes quite a bit of this. And then I have some beds up back I have to do, but one thing at a time. All right, Brandon? Yep. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to Big Ten and get his famous chicken wing pizza he loves. But we're only going to give him three pieces today. Four. Four. Oh, four. He eats four. So if you go to Bernie's, which the cuts are smaller, he gets four. If you go to Big Ten, he gets four. But that's half a pie. And he's going to eat half a pie. Yes, I will. And you wonder why it's getting hard to lift his <laughs> tiny hiney. I'll put it nicely. <laughs> All right. See you later when we get other jobs going. All right. Thank you for watching, guys. Okay. Yep, that's good. All right. Now we're going to bring the mulch down here and we're going to start throwing it on the flower beds. And Brandon has to just watch because he can't yeah, get up in there. I can sit on my phone and bullshit. Watch me. Say to Billy if you need help. No. He's just a... I don't want him to get off. Some tramp. Yeah, the uh, 
Chest used to be funny looking. I think that's probably what happened to it. Once I get up in the truck, it's not it's that hard to go across. I want to get away from the tailgate. Tailgate off. Boy, your freaking dog yaks too much. He wants to be down here with us. Bye. 
Not enough. I picked them up two hours early today. I'm not going to pick them up early. Oh, are you getting an extra two hours a day? Uh, yeah, but he paid you extra. He paid me extra. Extra hours. You're not here. You're not there. But you know where that money goes. Where the pizza goes. Yep. Sugar, sugar. Okay, we got to move forward. All right, well. He's going to keep me working here, and I don't want to bore you, so, you know, we got uh, 12 feet of this uh, 70 or 80 foot uh, flower bed done, and we still got three quarters of trailer load. And I didn't help. Oh, uh, Uncle Bill didn't help. No, look at his beard. Don't you, don't you guys think? Grizzly Adams. You need to shave that off. Can you throw us in lights and I'll cut it up by myself. Yeah, that's just like when you had that thing on your chin. I ain't getting no thousand lights out of it, though, did I? You know, that thing on your chin, we asked you to take off for two years. <laughs> and finally, one day, you did it on your own. You could have got 50 bucks for it, but you did it on your own, so you got nothing. That's right. All right, so we're going to unload another 20 minutes or so, and then uh, we're done for today. I'll see about that. Yeah. Mom, mommy's yelling at the dog. All right. Goodbye. Bye.